Now I'm looking at the results for my search for William Faulkner as a person search. And you'll notice here at the top it says showing results for. And the first one that is highlighted is literature criticism with a number 638. This is how many articles there are that are literature criticism articles. You'll notice here there are also biographies about this individual, 30. There is a topic and work overviews list of articles, 53 of them. There are also reviews and news about this author, 54 of them. And also primary sources and literary works, 37. There are only eight multimedia files related to this author. Depending on what you're looking for, you want to click and select the item that most matches. I'll leave it at literature criticism for right now, just to show you as an example of how to go through the results and use the filters. The first thing you can do with your results is sort by relevance. You can also sort by the newest to the oldest and also by document title. I'll go ahead and leave it by relevance. Now you'll notice here in the results, the first thing you'll get is the title to the article, the author of the article, where the article was obtained. So this is the source. This is the Mississippi Quarterly, for example. And it's indicating which volume and issue it came from. It's also mentioning that this is a peer reviewed article. There are also some very important descriptors here. This was published in the summer of 2012. It has 8,326 words and it is classified as a critical essay. It will only give me a couple of sentences about this article here. And that's the same for all of these as you go through. You'll notice publication date, words, what type of article this is, along with the title and author information. This one, for example, is the Faulkner Journal. Now, if you wanted to narrow down your results because there are 638 articles here, you can do that over on the right hand side. You can filter by subjects. So you'll notice American literature is an option. American Writers, As I Lay Dying, which is a particular novel of William Faulkner's, A Rose for Emily, which is a particular short story of William Faulkner's, um, Sanctuary, you can see other novels, other short stories, and then other topics such as race relations, um, also novelists. So if you wanted to select any one of these, you'll see that there's a number next to it. That is how many articles there are related to that subject. You can also filter by person. So obviously we did a search on William Faulkner. So all 638 of these articles are related to him. But if you wanted a different person to correlate with, such as James Joyce or Flannery O'Connor, you can select those authors as well. You can also filter by the name of work. So these are all of William Faulkner's works that you can search for. So we have his novel, As I Lay Dying, the short story, A Rose for Emily, uh, Sanctuary, The Hamlet. So which, if you, whichever story or novel you're looking for, you would just check off the box. And I'll do, for example, A Rose for Emily. And you can click Apply. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that so you can see through the other filters. You can also do author items by. So these are items by these particular authors. If you wanted to search for any one of these, again, in correlation with William Faulkner. There's also publication title. So these are the sources. For example, over here is the Mississippi Quarterly it's listed here as well. So if you wanted to see all of the articles published within the Mississippi Quarterly, you would make that selection and hit apply. 
You can also search for document type. So you'll see that of the 638 results, 435 are critical essays, 164 are general articles, 23 are general essays, 6 are biographies, 5 are character overviews, 1 is a brief biography, 1 is an obituary. So depending on what you're looking for, you would check off the box for the item that you prefer and click apply. You can also search within these results. So if you have a particular keyword or key term that you're looking for in connection with this author, let's say such as the South or Southern States, you can click um, submit after you type in your keyword search and it will remove any articles that don't have anything to do with that particular key term that you're looking for. And you'll notice here on the left, it is an applied filter. It now says it's searching through the entire document for the word South. Another thing you can select is full text documents. When you check off this box, it ensures that all of the results that you're getting are full text. That means you're getting the entire article. So you'll see it appears here as your applied filters full text. The number didn't change, so that means that everything that was in that result list was a full text article. Another option you have is to select only peer reviewed journals. Your professor may require you to use only peer reviewed journals. If that's the case, when you check off this box, the database will eliminate all other articles from the result list and only give you the ones that are marked as peer reviewed. So you see here my number went down from 400 something to 320. And all of the article results that I see here are now peer reviewed. So now we're going to jump into one of the articles and see the tools that you have for specific articles.